So, we are going to discuss Comba today. We start with the introduction. Let us go to the first slide, the Comba. What we see here is a spinning process flow diagram. The diagram is shown now, the complete diagram. And if we look at the diagram, then we will find that maybe most of you will be knowing that the first process is or the first machine in the spinning sequence is blow room, where we generally open and clean the material and also we can mix or if we want we can blend two different types of material that can be done on blow room. Then from blow room we go to the next process or next machine called card. The name of the process is carding process and here we generally do the cleaning job by the carding machine. We disentangle the fibers because fibers are fit to the carding machine in the form of small tufts. So, we want to separate the fibers completely and what we produce from this machine is basically a sliver which is an array of fibers and this from the carding machine the slivers where they are sent to the draw frame the process is known as drawing process and the draw frame we parallelize and straighten the fibers and even out the mass variations. Now from here the next process could be comber. So we can go to the comber and the combing or comb bar machine is going to basically remove the short fibers and neff from the sliver. So, the main purpose is comb bar is to get rid of short fibers and then after the combing process we go to draw frame again because comb sliver is not really so uniform. So, we have to repeat the draw frame and then we go to the roving frame we will discuss about roving frame and then it goes to the spinning machine where we can uh, spin the yarn. Now, what I have shown in this diagram is that we can directly go from draw frame to spinning machine also this is possible that is we can bypass the process comber or draw frame or roving frame that is also a part of spinning process. And this is done when we directly spin the yarn from drawn sliver. Like if we want to spin the yarn on the rotor spinning machine or air jet spinning machine, then we feed draw frame sliver there. We do not feed roving or there is no need of combing there also. So, that can be uh, we can go directly from therefore, this line basically shows that draw frame slivers can be directly fed to the spinning machine, but not ring spinning machine that is rotor spinning machine or air jet spinning machine or vortex spinning machines. The other thing is that if we want to bypass comber, we want to produce a carded yarn that is we do not want to remove short fibers. Then from draw frame we directly go to the roving frame. So, you look at this, this green line indicates that you are going from draw frame to roving frame and then from roving we produce roving and from the roving then we go to spinning machines. So, this is also possible and we call it carded yarn. So, in the spinning line there could be a comber or there may not be a comber. Comber is required when we want to produce a better quality yarn and we want to get rid of the short fibers because we will see that short fibers have a very detrimental effect on the quality of the yarn. So, after spinning the yarn goes to the winding machine and where we remove faults which are there in the yarn and we actually make a big package. The ring spinning machine you will see later on that the package of the yarn is very very small the quantity of yarn which is there in a ring frame cup is very, very little and we want to produce much bigger package which we require for 
subsequent uh, weaving. And therefore, what we do that we feed this yarn to the winding machine and whatever faults are there in the yarn we remove them and make much bigger package and then the package gets ready. Sometimes we feed this package to the for plying also that is we can feed it to another machine called doubling machines or also known as your uh, TFO that is two for one twisters where we ply the yarn. Basically this process is for making plied yarn. So that could be also be there. So this is how the spinning process flow diagram looks like and you see that in this particular course we are going to discuss the combing machine, then the next one is the roving frame and the next one is the spinning machine. It is basically ring spinning. Machine. These three machines we are, we are going to learn in this particular course. Let us go to the next slide. Objectives of combing. Why do you need combing operations? This part should be clear. So, if we first point is removal of short fibers from sliver. Short fibers are basically inhibitions from the quality point of view and from the process point of view. So, however, their presence in the cotton we just cannot stop and therefore, we need to remove them if we want to produce a better quality yarn. The next thing is extraction of residual naps and trash particles present in the sliver. See there will be some naps left even after carding process. There will be still some trash particles left in the drawn sliver after carding process. That is the blow room and the carding machine cannot really complete the job of cleaning. Some trash particles are still left and there is possibility of naps also in the sliver. So, we, the combing machine gives an opportunity to reduce or extract the naps and the trash particles still left in the sliver. The other thing is that improvement in fiber parallelizations. So, after combing the fibers become very parallel with respect to each other. We can separate out the fibers also because of the combing uh, process. We learn how it is happening, but this is possible and therefore, there will be improvement in overall parallelization of the fibers in the comb sliver and opening out of fiber tufts and clusters as told that today the carding machines are running at very high speed. The productivity has increased over the years and that every possibility that some minute top particles, tufts that is fiber tufts or cluster of fibers whatever we say that they may not be completely opened out by the cylinder oil points and the flat oil points because most of the, the intensive opening is actually happening between cylinder and flats. But productivity being very high, sometimes some of the tufts and the fiber clusters will escape this teasing actions which is going on between this cylinder oil points and the flat oil points. So, some of the tufts will move forward and they will be there in the drawn slivers, but uh, this will not be really visible to our eyes and uh, but once they land in the yarn they uh, increase the irregularity and also they may create uh, thick places in the yarn. Therefore, the combing machines will see that because of the combing needles which will be acting on the fibers, these needles will be able to tease out some of those fiber tufts which are still left in the sliver. So, that is one of the purpose of combing also. So, so many things can happen because of the combing action. The most important point is the short fiber removal. So, the questions come why do you need to remove the short fibers? 
I have already mentioned about this, but let us reinforce it again. Short fibers are a source of thick, thin places and unevenness in the final yarn. And therefore, the lesser their quantity is, the better it is always. So, the combing process will be able to remove the short fibers and therefore, we can expect an improvement in number of thick places, thin places in the final yarn and also there will be improvement in the evenness value of the yarn. Another thing is the cohesion of short fibers with longer ones are generally weak. This cohesion is very, very weak. Therefore, the short fibers can easily escape from the main flow of fibers during drafting and twisting operations and they will cause fiber flies. The short fibers therefore, ultimately create lot of flies and these flies, the fibers will basically float around the drafting zone and they gradually they settle down on the parts of the machines and therefore, they actually foul the surrounding atmosphere and hence uh, lesser they are better it is. The other thing is the flies contaminate the surrounding atmosphere also was told and they settle down on the various parts of the machines causing processing troubles and additional faults in the yarn. We will see that how this uh, short fiber flies are responsible for creating faults in the yarn when we will discuss ring spinning. So, you will see that there are so many negative points against short fibers. So, therefore, it is better that they, are, they should not be there. The other thing is short fibers being less matured may lead to bare in the dyed fabric usually their maturity value is less and they can also create a typical problem known as bare in the diet fabric. Therefore, we want to get rid of short fibers and because of this we have the machine comber. So, benefits of combing will be therefore, since these fibers will be eliminated and there will be further opening of fibers or fiber clusters. Therefore, benefits will be there will be improvement in evenness value, uniformity value and strength value of the yarn. That is why there will be great improvement and what will decrease is faults in yarn, there will decrease in the heaviness value of the yarn and there will be decrease in the flies in the yarn. Suppose these machines, these yarns we want to use on knitting machines. So, on the knitting machines how much fiber shedding will be there that also depends upon what is the proportion of short fibers in the yarn. Especially on knitting machine also there will be great improvement if we go for or if we feed combed yarn. Since the fly forming short fibers will not be there. Okay. Now, the question that comes is how to separate out the short fibers, short fibers separation. Here the cotton fiber length array is shown, we are all familiar with this array. The part shown here is this part is basically the short fibers shown by these vertical lines. So, when we remove the short fiber that we take out the short fiber as shown here. So, this part will be removed and the other part that is the rest of the part this is what will be left. So, basically if we consider the short fiber separation from the length array point of view so therefore, what we can see here as yeah, so we want to get rid of this part and we want to detain the rest of the fibers. This is what we actually want to achieve. Okay. So, this is the short fiber zone 
this we want to get rid of and the rest of the fibers we want to keep it that is for the therefore length array will change after combing and we stop this part now